hello friends and welcome to smart way once again and today's video will be about how to fix a broken lock of a memory card for any dslr camera so right now the camera that you are looking in front of you is nikon t3200 and this is the camera that i'm using right now for filming all my youtube videos and right now i'm filming with my mobile phone which is moto z play so as um, so recently i broke the lock of one of my memory card which was a 16 gb sandisk memory card and when i was inserting this memory card into my camera that i got uh, this message as that your memory card is blocked and you should slide the lock to the right position so today's video will be about how to fix this problem so if you will have a closer look at any memory card you will find that on to its left there is a kind of a plastic slider or a plastic lock and uh, your memory card will be detected by any dslr camera only when this lock is in forward position so initially when i broke this lock i thought that there might be some kind of a mechanism th that would be moving forward and backward inside this memory card so what i did was that i split open this memory card and uh, when i and inside i found that there was nothing uh, or any sort of mechanism inside the memory card but it was completely empty and it had nothing but just the memory chip so it came to my mind that uh, this lock had no role other than to trigger some kind of a pin inside the dslr camera that lets the camera know that yes a memory card is inserted into it and it can read or write onto it so i'll in this video i'll try to create this lock uh, with the help of some very common things that you find inside your home so keep watching so the things that you would be requiring to fix this lock is a math stick, a paper cutter, a cello tape and a pair of scissors. And uh, let me just tell you what I'm going to do right now is to cut this math stick of a desired length and try to fix it onto the gap of the memory card. Instead of math stick you can use any other material like maybe a piece of a plastic or something but let me tell you uh, math stick is very soft and what you I would be doing here is just slicing the math stick and matching it up with the surface of the memory card. So slicing is very easy if, um, because the wood of the math stick is very soft and uh, from here onwards I am just fast forwarding the video a little bit but you will have a clear picture of actually what I am doing right now. So keep watching the video. So friends, after creating this uh, temporary lock with the help of a math stick, I inserted this memory card into my DSLR camera and I found that uh, it was a little bit tight when I inserted it into the slot. But yes, when I switched on the camera, it was working fine. So what I did was that I took out the memory card again and I opened it up and chipped off a little bit more wood from the lock button. And let me tell you that when I inserted it for the second time, it was working absolutely fine. It went with ease and uh, after moving in and out for some times, the memory card uh, will adjust according to the shape and uh, I was able to browse all my files and uh, material which was there on the memory card and I was even able to record. So friends I hope today you, would, you have learned something new and if this video was informative then do give it a like and do subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching.